that while members of law enforcement have opposed this legislation year after year and have argued that the appropriate means of addressing racial profiling is through training of officers, training alone, I respectfully submit, is insufficient to address the problem. One important point that hasn't been made, but I think is very important for this committee to consider, is that many of the provisions of the Act seek to codify what are taught as best practices by the Rhode Island Municipal Police Training Academy. Specifically, three provisions in this bill are taught as best practices, according to Chief Tony Silva. They are documenting reasonable suspicion or probable cause grounds for initiating a search, not engaging in consent searches of juveniles absent reasonable suspicion of criminal activity, and not asking passengers in a motor vehicle stopped for a traffic violation for proof of identification. I again emphasize these are taught by the police as best practices in policing. I am therefore at odds to comprehend how the passenger ID provision could, as Chief Jamaris, I believe it was Chief O'Donnell, testified earlier, put officers at risk. Why would the Rhode Island Municipal Police Training Academy teach something as a best practice that would put officers at risk? No one has been able to explain that. And I respectfully submit that in some instances, the term officer safety is used as a subterfuge. President John Quincy Adams said, we are a nation of laws and not of men. Similarly, we are a nation of laws and not of strategic plans. We are a nation of laws and not of good intentions. We are a nation of laws and not of training manuals. We are a nation of laws and not of noble efforts. It is with that thought in mind that we ask you for the sixth year to please pass this law. Thank you.